Did you see that belief in ghosts and vampires are on the rise? Every day on the internet we see something like this and wonder, is this even a real headline? Is the data real? Are the conclusions legit? Are vampires even real? How can we make sense of all of these charts and graphs? Psst, here's a secret. It's a framework based on the way that actual scientists make sense of data visuals. Patterns, prompts, strange, takeaway, and trust. Before we get carried away with this headline, let's examine this graph with the PS framework. First, patterns. What patterns do we see in this graph? The ghost and the vampire lines are definitely going up. A superstition seems to be slightly up, but it's relatively flat. Next, prompts. What does the text tell us? The x-axis is here, so data collected over time. The y-axis titled word frequency must mean how commonly each word is used. The values are all very small fractions of a percent, so each word is probably not that common, like five words out of a one million word long text. There's also a source listed at the very bottom called Google Ngram Viewer, which was accessed December 16th, 2024, but I'm not really sure what the end 2019 really means. Now strange, is there anything unusual about this graph besides the fact that it's a supernatural topic? It's strange that we don't see the actual data points. These curves are somehow fit to the data, but we don't know if it's actually a good fit or a bad fit. Is this graph cherry picked to tell us a story that isn't there if we were to expand the time range? So what's your takeaway? Usage of the word ghost and vampires rose between 1980 and 2015, but this doesn't necessarily mean that people believe in them. This pattern might also be driven by popular books in the early 2000s. Though the claim is not supportive, this graph is really interesting and leaves us with several questions. Are the words ghost and vampire being used more? Who made this graph and why are they trying to make me worried about the rise of superstitions? This brings us to trust. So we have questions about the motivations of whoever made this graph. Do we trust the source? Well, it comes from Google Ngram Viewer and I've never heard of it, but I don't really have a reason to distrust it. I do want to know more about how the word frequency was calculated. So I can look up my own question. What do these curves look like before 1980 and after 2015? What happens if we add the word science just for comparison? All right, so this changes things. If we were to have one takeaway, it's that superstition has gone down as science has increasingly become part of our lives. And pst, you can't trust everything you read on the internet. The PS framework will help you make sense of the data you see on your daily life and whether you can trust it. We developed this framework for data literacy as part of our free data streams lesson for grades eight through 12. Check it out at galacticpolymath.com, link in the description. And if you found this video useful, please share with your friends.